guys, I'm Matthew Decker at Studio 5150 in Kearney, Nebraska. I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of my studio real quick. This is the parking lot outside of the building. Got a sign on the front of the building here. some client seating and then some reading material for the clients. There's some local artwork on the walls. And here is the jewelry display case. And this will be the front counter where I have clients fill out paperwork and chit chat about jewelry and piercings and such. Um, it's a non-porous, easily wiped down the surface. Uh, next to that is the hand sanitizer uh, for when clients accidentally touch their piercings or jewelry. And there's a sign above that hinting towards avoiding touching your piercings and jewelry. That's gross. Come on over. Through this door is a hallway with some more local artwork. And then this would be the restroom. Got a trash can, toilet paper, toilet, sink. Pretty basic little setup. Um, underneath, paper towels, scrub brush, toilet paper, trash bags. The piercing room. Got a foot operated trash can for clients to use, uh, hand sanitizer, and other do not touch your piercings or jewelry sign. Then there's some client seating, some more, more artwork on the walls. This is my little do not touch area with the non sterile gloves, um, contaminated tool tray, sharps, optum wipes, and then another. Put a lot for the trash can. This is my uh, piercing table where I do piercings and jewelry insertions um, underneath. Um, nothing gets stored, just keep that empty. On the top drawer here, I've got some prep packs, um, sterile gauze, reprocessed tools. Portion cups, disposable clamps, lubricant, some uh, skin prep and saline wipes, and some sterile gloves in here. Uh, next to that, we've got a well mounted uh, foot pump operated mouth rinse dispenser. And in this top cabinet, I store my uh, needles and some tapers. Below that, some uh, back stock um, captive bead rings, mostly captive bead rings, and then some surface anchors as well. Next to that, there's some straight barbell posts. Um, everything is day stamped in uh, sterilization envelopes. Up top, there's some straight uh, 12 gauge barbells, and some curved 12 gauge nail curves. And this is just a bunch of threaded ends, opals and gemstones and such from different sizes. Here's some threadless ends, opals and spikes, stars. Um, next to that, some threadless gemstones. And up top, mostly some threadless debrettes. And I also stocked uh, some curves in here. And on this cute little countertop is where I've got my gentian violet, so it doesn't make a mess all over the place. And this will be my hands-free sink. And 
this is my little anodizing setup here. Um, on the, in the top drawer, there's just some gloves. Put it closer. Gloves and aluminum foil. Anodizing essentials in here. Back stock of gloves and uh, paper towels, procedure masks. Water, portion mm -hmm. cups, and some batteries in the back. Uh, through this doorway is the reprocessing room, but I'll take you through the front entrance of that. Got the reprocessing room marked employees only so no clients come in. Alright, over here is my sterilizer. Uh, beneath it, um, autoclave log book. Um, Sport tests, um, autoclave, cleaning packets, and integrator strips. Jewelry boxes. Top drawer is just some back stock jewelry. Back stock jewelry, sterile and non sterile. And some rubber bands below. In the top cabinet, some Optum wipes, disposable clamps, um, just some sterile gauze pads on top there. And in here, sterile gloves, um, needle back stock, skin prep, and then trash bags on the bottom. And on the clean side of the countertop, I've got um, Optum wipes. Ster or non sterile gloves, sterilization envelopes, and stamps to date stamp them all with. Beneath that, some gallons of distilled water, dental bibs, some more dental bibs in the box here. And on the dirty side of the countertop is where you reprocess tools in the dirty sink. Um, no hand washing is done in here because that's gross. Got a sign to hint towards not washing your hands in there. Um, beneath that, you got some cleaning solutions, mop bucket, and some more um, cleaning solution in here. In the top drawer, some portion cups for the ultrasonic. And here's the ultrasonic. In the top cabinets, all I'm storing is the tool rinsing trays. Right, this is the uh, back side of the display case. It's got some more jewelry boxes. And then some baggies for jewelry. And in this little drawer, we've got uh, some o rings, more o rings, and retainers. And through here is the little reception area back at the front countertop. Got some gloves for disinfectant wipes. Um, portion cups for when clients decide to bring in used jewelry, we just place it in there for them. A computer desk, top drawer is just some office supplies, special order book, jewelry catalogs, and then just some paperwork in here. And up here, just some more paperwork, copier paper, um, jewelry invoices more office supplies, and some gift cards and DVDs. Beneath here is some more jewelry catalogs, and a 
APP handbook, um, Mike Wazowski and Boo. <laughs> And this is just a storage room where we store things. Storage closet, um, paper towels, toilet paper, light bulbs, board games, paints. And this is the break room. And then the back door is for employees only. No clients come through here. Just takes you through the side of the building. And that will be all. Thanks for watching.